Hi board, this is Carly, the executive director of ACCU. In this video, we're going to go over board action items and the view that you see as a new board member. This is all the information for your unit. So you may have action items that pertain to your home, but it does not pertain to the board. As you scroll down to board action items, you get a whole set of new options that are available to you. ARC requests, collections, homeowners. You can view the invoice history and every invoice that has been paid by ACCU. It'll give you a copy of your invoice and the type of payment that was made. The way that invoices work at ACCU is that when they are scanned in, they are coded, they go to the manager for approval. Next, it goes to the first board member for approval and then to the second board member before the invoice is paid. You're able to view the invoice, code it properly before payment is ever issued. This is really important that we put the layers together to make sure that your funds are kept safe. Here on your portal, I'm going to show you how to approve invoices when they're ready and available to you. There are a few different steps and options on the homeowner portal. Here you'll see the three dots. On the three dots, you can select additional columns. I like to put the subject, the step it's in, the service provider. It allows to view the invoice number. When you see invoices in approve invoice, that means that it's sitting with the manager and it's not ready for board approval yet. So currently we have one invoice ready for payment and three for approve invoice. So they are still being viewed by ACCU. There's also another option to click closed. In the closed feature, it's going to show you every invoice that has ever been paid. Sometimes you may need to zoom out so that you can see the rest of the columns. On this bill, you will notice that there are two options. There is a paperclip and an eyeball. When you click the paperclip, that's gonna show you the attachment of the invoice that has been paid. It's helpful if you drop down on the attachment to see if there's any other attachment there. In this case, there is not one. Next, you can click the eyeball. The eyeball feature is going to show you recent invoices that have been paid to this vendor. It'll also show you the messages. Here you can view the day that it came in to RQ, when it was coded, when it was sent by the community manager, when it was approved, and the day that the payment was set. In this case, it was 24 hours from the time the invoice came in to the payment date. Next, we also have homeowners. Those three dots, again, they're really important. If you click them, it lets you choose more options on your columns. You can select the account number, the homeowner's address, their email, and their overall balance. This is really important for board members because it shows who hasn't paid their dues or who is current. It helps you with future forecasting and budgeting purposes to know what is coming in on your bank accounts. When you click any of the header tabs, it allows you to sort. You see a little blue arrow there. The blue arrow, if you click it more than once, it'll change your sorting function. So that is your friend. Always click the headers to sort your information. I spoke earlier about bank accounts. This allows for boards to see their bank balances live and to see what is pending. If you click the bank accounts tab and click the eyeball, it gives information about your bank account. It allows you to choose the date range, to check your money market account, your reserve account live every single day. On the board actions tab, the last option is reports. ACCU decided to turn this on because we believe it's your information. Not all management companies allow for boards to access this, but the reports are helpful to you because you can pull any report that we can live at any time. If we make a change, that reflects on any report that you pull for yourself. I'll give you one example. Click reports. There is a search tab that allows you to look for any report you'd like. Today, we're gonna try balance sheet. You may run balance sheet with codes. Click the view button. This report allows you to go back as far as you'd like. I will select April 30th and click preview. This particular report is helpful for budgeting and understanding your cash flow for your association. You can pull any report any day of the month to get those live numbers available to you. The reports tab is a very powerful feature. It's live information to you 24 hours a day, seven days a week. If you need training, please reach out to us. Any member of our team can help you.